Hey guys, it's Ann Beans. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another tropical island tour because I love this theme. Love, love, love. I am about to switch my island to the tropical theme as well. So this is Jenny's Island. The name of it is called Dreamtown. She has a nice blue airport. And let's pull up the map. So there's Jenny. Her house is in the center. Then we have Lolly, Molly, Melba, Audie, Maple, Flora, Eric, Fang, Savannah, and June. June is Jenny's favorite villager. So she says she has 760 hours on the game. And I believe it because look at this beautiful map. This is how I've been wanting to do my neighborhood. I want to have all of my villagers get to have their own little island. I think it's so cute. And I know I recently passed up Flora on my last villager hunt. So I am now regretting that. Jenny's waiting over here. Let's wave to her. Oh, <laughs> super cute. She has a present right here. Let's see what it is. 10 Nook Mile tickets. Thank you. All right, so right away her entrance is beautiful. Somehow <laughs> the, um, the fishing dude is up there. What the heck? That's kind of crazy. So I love her entrance. It's gorgeous. I am going to be so in love with this island. Ah! So she has a little Dodo airport. Well, and a little Dodo airline state uh, sign right here. So I guess this is um, maybe where you wait when you go to the airport. I'm not sure. But it's cute, yeah, because so, here's the luggage. Yes, or maybe when you just got off of the airport. Little waiting area. Super cute. I love it. I could just hang out here. Right as you get off the airport, you can have a seat and take in the beach. So she said her beach is mostly empty right now. She just finished her island, so I'm sure her beach will be next. Looks like there's a little watering hole up there where the flamingos are. That's so cute. I love it. All right, let's keep going. She has some tents over here and a telescope so this is the ca a camping area not sure if her campsite is here but she has a sign that says camping and you can sit by the fire <laughs> she's sitting over there i love the statue she has a little guitar and, and all of the flowers are just beautiful I love all the custom paths that she has. Okay, look how cute. Little campfire area. Let's take a picture of us. Oh, my eyes are closed. Cute. All right, so it's her little peninsula. She has a little telescope here and some blankets or in one blanket. I love all the little touches. So that's it for the camping area. So let's go back out, out of the campsite. She has a little sitting area to the right. And these are her bridges leading up to her museum. 
I love the turtle. And she has all the butterfly models. Super cute, nice entrance with the fossils next to the museum. That's cool. Yes, it's like a relaxing place where you can take a snooze outside of the museum. It's got some fossils over here, another little bench by the palm tree. Very beautiful. So you can go across another bridge. Where do we go now? Looks like she has a little cafe over here. And a little duck pond. So we can stop and have a cup of coffee. Too cute. Let's see. We gotta Instagram it. All right. Let's keep going. What a lovely little cafe next to the resident services. Looks like we're going this way. Ah, what are we skipping? We're just walking around the path. Oh, and here's a little ice cream area. Ice cream and popsicles. This is cute. I love this. How cute. I love it. <laughs> With the rockhead statue in the background. Adorable. I love the use of the orange tables. And then the little um, school chairs or whatever they're called. They might be called something else. Okay, so it looks like a sushi restaurant. They eat on top of the jellyfish. <laughs> and you can have some tea as well. Some Asian food over here. This is a cool restaurant. Yep, a sushi restaurant. Yes. I love it. Very creative. I like think this little terraforming right there to the right. That's cute. Okay. Let's go over here. Ah! Oops. And there's Savannah. Let's go lay on the other chair. I can't get there. Oh well. Alright, so Savannah's chilling by the pool. By the watering hole. Let's talk to Savannah. We've never met, right? I'm Savannah, and your name is M. Dizzle. I like that name a lot. Whenever you're here visiting Dreamtown, please look me up, y'all. She says, y'all. That's cute. Oh, and looks like she's got some chairs to lay out and get, the t get your tan on by the pool. Very cute. I love the patterns on the chairs and on this hammock right here. She even has changing rooms to get ready to get in the pool, which is really cute. I love this pathway. This is the pathway I might be using. She's got some festive all umbrellas as an umbrella, which is cool. I didn't think about that. So here's the neighborhood, it looks like. So whose house do we have here? This is June's house, her favorite. And I see June walking around over there. I bet this is Flora's house. Flora, yes. We love their little um, houses. Too cute. So here's another cafe or beach bar. Very cute. You can sit and listen to some music. Q 
cute. I love it. I'll let her lead the way. The tiki torch there. This is like a community area for all the neighbors to go to. I love their little islands. Let's see whose house this is. Melba's house. And this is Audie's house. I don't like I don't like Audie, but her house um, looks very beachy, so that does work. And she has wears sunglasses, so she looks very tropical as well. And here is June, her favorite villager. Now you've got at least one friend from June Town. Thanks, honey. So whose house is this? This is Savannah's house. Okay. And this is Lolly's house. I love Lolly so much. She is the one that named me M, Be M Beans. She came up with that all on her own. And I think that it's precious. Oh, whose house is this? Ah, June, you're in my way. Okay. I won't go over there, but that's more villager houses. And this is Molly's home. Oh, look at this. Another little beach area, beach bar area. I think it's too cute. I need a drink. I need a coconut drink right now. Let's get some pina coladas. <laughs> we have some music going on here. <sighs> All right, let's see where else we have to go. Looks like we're going to the back of the island now. Cute. I can't sit. <laughs> I'll sit on the ground. Cute. I love her little character. It looks so precious. I love it. This area is so nice. All of her bugs are out right now. This is a perfect time to tour her island. Ooh, that was cute. Why did I jump? It's a dinosaur. So there's a dinosaur hanging out over here. This is a cute area with her rock garden. Her rock garden at the back of her beach. I love it. Too cute. Another flamingo. And this is the back of the island. I like how she used these um, bamboo partitions. That's very cute. It's like a barrier from the ocean in the back. All of this terraforming is so nice. It looks amazing. I feel like these paths probably took her forever. Let's keep going along the boardwalk. Oh, and here's a dance area with some music. Heck yes. So cute. It's a beach bar with a dance area, so this could be a club. I love it. It's just so bright and airy here. I feel like I'm really at the beach, which is amazing. Of course, my big old hat blocks everything. But we have an ice bar here to get some 
Looks like some ice cream on the front of the fridge. I didn't know that you could customize the fridge to make it have a pattern. The pattern on this couch and chairs and the chairs looks very cute though. I love all the little touches here. Looks like we have some shell stuff over here. This is just the turkey day stand with shell lamps on it. So that's really creative. At first I thought it was a um, shell, like a shell statue that I didn't know about, which would be awesome, but she made it look like one. So that's cool. Oh, uh, she has a little secret spot to sit here. Right by the rock garden. This would be very serene if you were sitting here in real life. Hanging out. I love it. Let's keep going. She also has a flower in her hair. She looks so tropical. I love it. I tried my best. Okay, so here's a little picnic spot by the water with some little beehives in a picnic basket. I think that's so cute. It looks amazing, really. Truly beautiful. Okay, so here's the campsite, which is cool. She has the little camping area over here, a hammock, and a campfire, of course. She also has a palm tree light over there. Very cute, very tropical. I love the island's vibes. I love this. Her little secret beach. I love that she put a fan out here because it gets hot in paradise for sure. So I see she used wood, um, the wooden stakes as a fence, which looks really cool. But there's a freaking dinosaur back there. Oh my god. I don't know what dinosaur that is, but that's crazy. Just lurking in the background. Let's see if I can take a better picture of that. Like, whoa. And there's a telescope, so look at it. There's a little play picnic area with a ball and a bike. I would love to go biking around this island. I really want to be at the beach right now. It's got the cool statue here. Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo over there. All of this terraforming looks amazing. I love all the land bridges on these islands. Like it just looks so nice. And I love the water down there. She's got waterfalls on both sides. I'd love to go swimming in that little swimming hole. Okay, so here's Nooks and Abel's. Which is awesome. You could either go left or right. Right over here she has a bunch of outfits outside. At Abel's sisters. A swimsuit. All of the good stuff. She has a garden back here, which is precious. I love it. <laughs> She's taking a little nap. I love how she put the statues on top, I mean, the shells on top of the Turkey Day um, stands. That looks really cool. 
Perfect use of the sign over here. Oh, and there's a reading area. Right by Able Sisters. This is adorable. You can study, you can read a book about lions. You can read some books over here. She has a lost item there, which is a good use of that. You drop it and it just looks like a book. So now we have nooks. She has some boxes out here, which is a good idea. And some surfboards and items you can buy on your beach trip. I love this. It looks great. I like the use of having all the beach items because if you go to a beach in America at least, they're going to have beachy stuff at every store that you drive past. Outside, everywhere. There are gift shops everywhere. So she has another cafe back here. And bakery, so you can get all of your baked goods. You can get some cake. Some pastries. I'm in love with this pineapple pattern. You can sit and have tea. All looks very cute. I love this. Alright, let's keep going. Another land bridge that's done very well. Oh, and this, this looks like it's her house. Yay, we get to go inside. Her house is on an island surrounded by water with a bunch of bridges leading up to it. So that's very cute. I love it so much. Oh, and look at her beach house and all the villager photos, fossils on the wall. I And there's a duck there. I love all the photos. There's so much to see. The flooring is perfect. I love this living room. Perfect for being at the beach. Oh, what a nice tropical bathroom. It's got socks on the floor here. A spot to sit and breathe in the, all the essential oils coming out of the diffuser. A nice serene bathtub and some shoes. All the perfect details to make this room tropical and complete. She just used the toilet and did not wash her hands. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay. There's a chicken painting right there. <laughs> Some kind of chicken banner. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Whoa. So this is the kitchen. Very nicely done. She has everything in here that you may need to cook. There's a sink. She even put a pumpkin there. You can make some food. Everything. There's everything in here. I love this so much. It's a perfect little kitchen. I'm not sure why I say everything is little. It's because the game is little. I suppose. I feel like we all do that. What is this room going to be? 
Oh, this looks like a um, seamstress room. Can make some clothing. <laughs> ah, oops. Very cute. Little room. Can make clothes. We were one person just now. All right, looks like we're going upstairs. Always save the basement for last. You never know what you will find in a basement. Oh, <laughs> the way the game is glitching is funny. Why can't I sit? What the heck? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. She has a bed here. Her bedroom's nice and green. I love all the green everywhere. This is super cute. <laughs> I was hoping she was gonna lay in the bed. Let's just take us news here on Dreamtown Island. Super cute. I love this. The use of the star is pretty. I love all of this. She has her laptop back there and some coffee to keep you awake while you're studying. Looks like we're going to the basement. What will we find in the basement? Looks like a game room in a workshop. Cute. In a weight room too, so you can work out. Normal basement stuff. Work out, play some games. Some uh, songs hanging on the wall. Some fish. Spider webs is perfect. A workshop, some darts. Pinball. I wish I had a pinball machine in my basement. And a train set. It's very nice. Let's look at this wall. Okay. Let's go back up. Up and out. I loved her house. It was beautiful. Not too overwhelming, just perfect. So I love that her house is an island so much. I can meet her over here. Oh, and look at this little spa area. I want to say it's a spa because I, this is how I want to be when I'm on the beach. A nice relaxing island. Just laying out in the sun with my pina colada. Have some fruit drinks. And just hang out with my besties. That's the dream. Hopefully coronavirus, everybody will get their vaccines and we can start hanging out more often. I actually just got my vaccine this morning. And I feel fine so far. All right. Looks like we're going to another sitting area. And Molly is here to join us. Good sweet baby Molly. I was hoping she'd come over. <laughs> Perfect photo bomb. Very cute. Her island is so beautiful and blue. The weather is perfect. 
I think we already went over there. I'm not sure of where we're at right now. Oh, this is the front right, I suppose. Right? Front left. I think we're at the front left. Right by the sushi restaurant again. Well, this was a beautiful tour. I loved it. Beautiful island. I want to say thank you so much for having us. Very gorgeous island. I loved coming. We have to write something on the bulletin board. Let's put a heart. And let's put in beans on there. It's gonna go to the side. Thanks for having us, gorgeous island. Love and beans. You don't have to have drawing skills to do polka dots, right? Right. Just place them randomly. Not too close to each other. Right now they kind of look like sprinkles. Why did Nintendo give us this mustard color? It's like green, but kind of mustardy. Like, couldn't it have been yellow? Yellow would have looked a lot nicer just saying I think this looks cute oh look at that all right so I loved her island I want to say thank you so much for having us it was gorgeous and very well done I can't wait to make my own tropical island and show you guys all of my builds along the way. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have an island that is amazing and you want to show me, just DM me on Instagram, mbeans.yt. Because I love seeing everyone's islands. I love seeing different islands than showing them to YouTube. Thank you so much, Jenny. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one.